them, yeah. like in the color purple. Yeah. Yeah. And you see how we just try our best to keep that there so the water doesn't drip too much, but it still comes over. And this is soak up the water. That's how we heat up the water. Now I boil more until it fills up, I wash the dishes. As far as bathing, we have to do the same thing. We have to heat the water up, bring the bowls, put the water in bowls, bring them in the bathroom, and wash up real quick, soap our body really, really good, and and rinse everything off. It's, it's just a headache. If they would just give us hot, our hot water back, it would be fine. My name is Wendy Champion and I live, I live at 370 Broadway. The previous landlord, his name was, is Enrique Cruz and he foreclosed on the building. He never let anybody know that um, at the time he was using our electric meter to electrify the whole building plus his uh, restaurant downstairs. So it's a $6,000 bill. Central Hudson told my sister that they could not help with that because at the time there was nobody's name on the account for electricity in this building. So as soon as she went and got her account open so that we could have electricity, um, they hit her with the bill. We never had heat, like natural heaters that work. The, ones in the, the one in the living room and the one in my bedroom never worked. So we've always heated with electric heaters. When we got here, we had bed bugs to fight. There was a gas leak in my room and it had been there for a while. So when the firemen came, they shut us down completely and we had no hot water, nor do we have gas. The inspector came, his name is Reggie from the code compliance. And then he decided that he would condemn the building. And um, at the same time, he was talking to the first realty uh, lady who manages the building. And uh, my first contact with her, she came upstairs, she gave me her card, and she said, the building's getting bought, the building has been bought, and you, you're you gonna get evicted. So I called the Newburgh uh, Legal Aid Society, and Jenny Turpin became my um, attorney. She's fantastic. So they considered me not a bona fide tenant because I had no lease. I had no piece of paper saying month-to-month uh, -month payments or anything. I had rent receipts, but for the most part, I couldn't. I didn't have all of them because he'd say, I'll be back. And because I have a mess, he'd say, I'll be back with the rent receipt. And I'd forget. So, hey, it passed. So when the one thing went into foreclosure, the Wilmington National Trust Association took over, and um, I got I went to eviction proceedings. So the first person who was there said, "Well, she's not a bona fide client." Judge Culkin said, "Yet yeah, she's still standing there, though." So Jenny said, "Well, maybe we can prolong this a little bit longer. I'll let you stay in the apartment." So I get into January third to move out. Now, the real estate lady has done her very best to, you know, inflict cruel and unusual punishment here. So, most recently, she called day before yesterday, and she said, they're going to weatherize the building. And she said, I can't believe how you live in that building. It's condemned, it's horrible, blah, blah, blah. And I said, I have until the third to, to leave, and we're trying really hard to get an apartment. But... It's expensive, and there's a lot of us. And she said, well, the building, um, I said, you know, the building's condemned, but there's nothing I can do about it. And um, I said, you know, my lawyer said half the buildings in Newburgh are condemned, and she very, very nastily said, yeah, because they're probably filled with tenants like you. Moving forward, she said they're going to weatherize the building, and eventually they're 
so that the pipes don't freeze, they're going to cut off the water. And they're going to do this before January 3rd. And as you see, we have a hot plate to do everything with. Uh, it doesn't really work. We microwave a lot of our food. Um, it's just disgusting, in my opinion. And um, when she said that, I was, I was just like, you're not even going to, I mean, no empathy, no sympathy, nothing. And um, she said, well, that's the way it's going to be. The constant battle that we have to go through is really stressing. And it's, um, I got an MS relapse in October. And I hadn't had one since 2010. And I thought I was doing really good because I, I wasn't having it. Um, but the stress and, and all of that causes it. And then on top of that, the Lyme disease is, is, is chronic. So I couldn't feel anything from my left knee down. So I was in a walker. I still have to walk in a walker every other day or so. Mostly I use a cane. But it's the effect on the kids that bothers me the most. They're adults, yeah, but they're my babies. And my nephew, you know, he's, he's not understanding the process. And he's brilliant. He's so smart, but it's overwhelming to him. And I don't want all of us to have to go to other places, but that's just the way it's got to be. I would love for us to all be together again, but we can't do that. And I just want to find a place to live where I don't have to worry about all of this. You know, our last apartment, we had to settle for it quickly. But the new owner of the building had the sympathy and compassion to um, say, hey, stay here. It's okay. Um, stay here. And when you get enough money, and move out. And he's a wonderful man. His name is David. And um, we stood there. When we had enough money, she found out about this place. So we thought it was all above board. And it was okay. And I figured because I'm getting rent receipts, you know, why would I pay for a place where I'm not a bona fide tenant? And um, long story short, Wilmington Trust National Association and all this other stuff. We go through the court process. So I called Jenny yesterday and I said, she's threatening to cut our water off. And she said, we can file an injunction and go back to Judge Colkin. And she said, but eventually he's not going to stop the eviction because that's already been laid out. So we're terrified. If we don't get out of here soon, we're done.